beta. So here it says proof that summation EI XI is zero. Ideally, in um, in terms of uh, language, it means that the correlation between the error term and X is zero. Now, this is one of the assumptions of classical linear regression model that you study as part of the next chapter, where we say that the sub, that the correlation between the error terms and the uh, XIs, that is assumed to be zero. And its implication itself is that submission EI XI should be zero. Now, just try to think about it. So, submission EI, XI is nothing but XI minus X bar. This is deviation from mean. So this is nothing but summation EI XI minus EI X bar. And this will be nothing but summation EI XI minus summation EI X. Now try to notice better that X bar is a constant. And I have always told you constant comes out of summation. So we can go ahead and write this as summation EI XI. X bar comes out summation EI. And we have already proved in the, uh, you know, in the last click, in the last video, that the sum of the error term is assumed to be zero. So I will go ahead and get this. And we have proved this actually, minus x bar into zero. So this will be submission EI XI. This is, this is what I will be getting. Okay. Now, we know that the error term can be written as the difference between the actual and predicted value of y. And the predicted value of yi will be nothing but b1 plus b2 xi. Isn't it? So I will go ahead and I will get this like this. That this is going to be summation yi minus b1 minus b2 xi into xi. And this will be summation yi xi minus b1 xi minus b2 xi squared, right? I will just open up the summation. Summation yi xi minus summation b1 xi minus summation b2 xi squared. Now this b1 and b2 are just constants. So this will be summation xi yi minus b1 summation xi minus b2 summation xi squared. Now go to the second normal equation beta. So the second normal equation that I had told you in the last video, it was this. This is the second normal equation. So summation xi yi is equal to b1 summation xi plus b2 summation xi square. So from here, can't I say that summation xi yi minus b1 summation x minus b2 summation xi square will be zero. So if I just use that fact in this in this in this question. From that fact, I recognize that this will also be zero. And that's the proof of it. So in terms of language, as I've already told you, in terms of language, it means that the correlation between error and excess is zero. And uh, just one thing here. Huh? So but a correlation co may numerator may covariance are there. Hmm. So, x hai, ye bhi x hai. Or covariance ka formula hota hai, summation e, suppose main error ka kar rahi hon, ye e i hai. To, let me clean this up. To, uh, jis bhi variable ka covariance zero hoga. Whenever the covariance will be zero, the correlation will automatically be zero. And covariance is basically summation EI minus E bar, XI minus X bar. So EI minus E bar, XI minus X bar, right? And E bar is zero, mean of error is zero. So this is nothing but summation EI into small XI. XI represents the mean deviation. And we just proved that this is zero. So if this is zero, automatically we are saying that the covariance is zero. You can numerator zero. Right? And if covariance is zero, then correlation is zero. So indirectly, we are saying that error term and excess are not correlated with each other. This is what is the uh, implication of this, right? Okay, beta.